What is going on, members of the Burger Fam? Today we are going to open up two more of these double blister packs in search of completing the binder. But we have some more Pokemon news to get to first. We all know coming up in November, we have a new Pokemon set coming out. That Pokemon set is called Vivid Voltage. But there's another set that's already been released in Japan that you might want to pay just a little bit of attention to called Legendary Heartbeat. Now, why is Legendary Heartbeat so important to Vivid Voltage? Well, we had the introduction of what is called Awesome Rare Cards. For those of you that don't know what Awesome Rare Cards are, here's an example, a nice little Jirachi Awesome Rare Card. I love these awesome rare cards. I wasn't as big of a fan of the V cards, like the Vs and the V Maxes, um, compared to GX cards, um, especially like Hidden Fates GX cards. But when it comes to these awesome rares, it gives me such throwback vibes to when we were, you know, collecting base set one, base set two cards, and just finding out a regular holographic, but this has those nice color splashes with the spiral and whatever else. And um, it's been kind of confirmed that in Champion's Path, we won't be getting these awesome rare cards. And that's okay, because Vivid Voltage, which is kind of an electric-based uh, set that's coming out, has the potential to have these awesome rare cards. Now, why do we say that? Well... Chances are Vivid is kind of described with colors, right? We have vivid colors, bright colors, and well, these awesome rare cards are basically that. They're bright, they're vivid, and they're awesome, right? The Jirachi card is one of my favorite cards that are out there, and I'm debating trying to get my hands on some legendary heartbeat just to open them up. Now, it is a Japanese release set that's been around for about a year now, so it makes a lot of sense that it would kind of land in the North American markets about a year after the Japanese releases um, of Legendary Heartbeat. So um, that is something to be looking forward to. But there is more news when it comes to Vivid Voltage. We're going to have something called Super Elite Trainer Boxes, which is a bigger Elite Trainer Box. Now, our typical Elite Trainer Box, as we know, comes with some uh, base cards to get your deck built, and then it has four booster packs, it's got the dice, it's got the counter cards, it's got the mats, it's got the books, um, it's got a whole bunch of different things. But what's going to be happening with these bigger Elite Trainer Boxes is you will be getting 12 booster packs, so you're increasing by four booster packs, as well as you'll be getting a promo card. What that promo card is, we don't know but they say a promo card and then a little other uh, mini incentive something to say or pro elite trainer box. I can't remember the exact title. I think it's pro elite trainer box. But with that being said, the prices increased quite significantly and I'm not 100% sure if it's normal. Um, these are American prices. 40 bucks is typically what you spend on an elite trainer box in the US. $65 in Canada is what an elite trainer box is. And essentially, for my purposes, a Elite Trainer Box really kind of isn't worth it just because I want the booster packs for collections. Sure, those other cards in there are very good to start building the binders, if so to speak. Uh, but in the U.S., the the uh, Elite Trainer Box Pro, or whatever they're calling it, is actually $20 more. It's $60 U.S. for that bigger box and essentially what they're guaranteeing you is four extra packs so five dollars pack us extra is quite a bit of money depending what that extra little piece is that you do get in that it may or may not be completely worth it so there's a lot of news and headlines uh, when it comes to vivid voltage the other thing that we know 100 percent about vivid voltage is that we are getting a Pikachu VMAX card. I believe there's going to be a promo of it, and there will also be a uh, regular Pikachu VMAX that comes, um, you know, part of the decks that you can collect from the, the uh, booster packs. But we do have the artwork for the Pikachu VMAX, 
and I gotta tell you, it's adorable. It's in like its old school chunky form, super um, prideful of its chunk, and it's just super cute, super awesome. So we got a we got all of that to look forward to in November, but most assuredly, I can tell you, I am definitely looking forward to awesome rares. That is a kind of a stretch rumor when it comes to Vivid Voltage. I don't know that we're going to see it. I'm hoping so. We're just kind of connecting the dots with Vivid and colors and all that fun stuff. But let's hope, fingers crossed, that we do see awesome rares in North America release packs soon. Because I think that would make the Pokemon world just kind of explode right and give us something else to look forward to we've had ex cards then we had gx cards then we had mega g or mega ex or right? then we had now v cards and v max cards so it's um something new to look forward to and uh something to be very very excited about but now we are going to get into opening packs number 14 and 15 for Darkness Ablaze to see how many packs it takes to complete the binder. With that being said, these Sword and Shield base set decks or, or booster packs in here, sorry, are free right now as supplies last as far as I can know. Uh, interesting tidbit about this. In North America, it is Sword and Shield base set, but apparently over in Europe, it is Rebel Clash that you get as the free pack. Now, I've also been scouring PokemonCenter.com and you can order the Rebel Clash base set if you so desire from their $4 US to order that. So it's still an incredible, incredible deal. Sword and Shield base set, we're starting off with that. We're going to do both Sword and Shield base set as we start off simply because Darkness Ablaze right now is the main attraction is the main show code card for every one of you well not every one of you one of you because you can only redeem it once but here we go fighting energy lumberry corvishire galvanta rosalia jultic silly cobra blipbug goldine a reverse hollow air balloon followed by sandaconda so that's Sword and Shield, number one. Number two. I really wish I had a more stable desk. One day, one day as this channel grows and the Burger Fam gets bigger, we'll upgrade. We'll have fun. But here we go. Code card number two for one of you lucky Burger Fam members. That was four. Perfect. Here we go. Lightning energy, hit punch hand, punch in the air, which I believe if you look closely in that very background, we got a hit mon Lee back there. We got Galarian, Lanoon, Seeking, Geotic, Silly Cobra, Blipbug, Goldeen, Yamper, Reverse Hollow goes to Seeking, and a Dread Gnaw, non hollow for the Ram. Darkness Ablaze, got the Cinta Scorch pack. Hopefully, we get some luck. With the Cinta Scorch pack. The other pack artwork is a Charizard. We all know that Charizard may not be in a Charizard pack. It never has, never will be. That's just kind of the general consensus. Here we go. Centering looks way too good for my luck to be an ultra rare. Leaf Energy, Poltegeist, Combuskin, Gr Glimwood Tangle, Pansage, Electric, Fletchling, Galarian, Mr. Mime, Torchic, Reverse Hollow, Gotharita, and a Hydrogen. So that actually, I believe, completes a few things that we needed in that binder. There may not be too many doubles that I'll be giving away in this video if that's the case. But that is okay. That is okay. There's the, uh, the final promo card for you guys there. Hit that like button. Give us last pack luck. I know it's only the second pack, but we still need all the luck we can get. Here we go. Energy. Rose Tower. I know I need that. Stinny. Dene. Or sorry, Didini. I need that. Mareep. Snubble. Tauros. Rookady. Galarian Mr. Mime. We already got that last one. Reverse Hollow Stinny, followed by Del Caddy. So we didn't hit any Ultra Rares. That's 13 packs of um, Darkness Ablaze, and I've hit 
one one ultra rare i know uh it's not the biggest sample size but i'm pretty sure people have had slightly higher pull rates than that but that is okay because we're having a lot of fun opening these packs but that is the video for today guys thank you so much for clicking on today's video it really does mean a lot to me don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button i do upload every sunday tuesday and friday at 11 a.m mountain time if you guys wanted to keep up on all the pokemon news or not miss out on those free code cards i give away to you guys it either way it means a lot to me if you do hit those buttons um, but that is the video today guys so thank you so much for clicking on today's video um, we will definitely be opening up a booster box soon i promise you guys uh, it is on order at this point so it should show up any day now and we will definitely definitely have a lot of fun with that but again like i said that is the video today guys thank you so much uh, until next time don't forget to be positive, eat some burgers, and pull some Pokemon cards. We will see you very, very soon.